Mid Journey just launched their web browser version, so in this video I thought we can take a look at how this works. This means that you can now start creating Mid Journey images off Discord. So they have this announcement that if you have created at least 5000 images on Mid Journey, you will get access to the 5000 club. This is in alpha for now. So in this video, we're just gonna check out the features and yeah, how good this works. So the absolute first thing I did when I got in here was to switch onto dark mode. So love that, that's a good feature. You can see in the top left corner here, we are in alpha. Uh, we also have this archive page. I think we had this, this from before, but we can kind of, yeah, we can sort by a lot of different things here. So that's quite good. And in the create section here, so this is kind of where we used to put our prompt, right? So let's say we copy this, right? And we have this new feature here, so we can kind of click onto this. And here we can kind of select our image size. So we have 916 all the way up to 69, 2, 1. We can also do the shortcuts, portrait, square, landscape. We can select our models. We can do like standard or raw, that's the mode. And here we have all the different versions. So 5 up to 6 and 5.1 and 2 and Nietzsche 5. And we have some we can select between relax, fast and turbo. That's good. And here we can kind of have a slider for stylization, weirdness and variety. It's pretty cool. So we kind of have our prompt up here now, so now we can kind of just, yeah, I want 500 stylized. I want the raw model, I want version 6, okay. Uh, yeah, I want landscape, uh, okay. So then we can just go back here and just click enter. And here we can kind of see the image is launching with all of our set um, features here, right? So this works pretty good. Pretty easy to set up, easy to work with, kind of like the UI here. Uh, I found another cool thing that we can do. So let's just let, let this run in the background. If we go to explore here, and let's say we just sort by top, that's fine. And yeah, you can just scroll down here, see if you find an image you like, right? I think, oh, that was pretty cool. I like, uh, yeah, I like this one. So what I found out you can do, there are these... T here so if you just click on that you can see the prompt pops up on the top here and if we just hit enter then you can see we launched something here so we have create one of two so I can just go into here and we have created the prompt we just saw from uh, from the explore page that's pretty neat right and let's say uh, I like this image okay so that was pretty cool. I can click into this image. And here we can do some more. We can do variations. We can upscale. We can pan. So let's say I wanted to pan left here. I can just click left. Right. And then we started a new. That has the pan feature. So very easy to, to work around this. And let's say we wanted to zoom out a bit on this image. I can just zoom twice, just click that, one click. And we have this queue here forming. So you can see we panned left here. And here we are kind of out painting. You can see the feature here. So very easy to use. So, so far I'm pretty happy with this. We also have the option just to create variations just from this page. So we can just click on Vary Strong here. This creates a new variation of the image we just had. So yeah, pretty interesting. So yeah, I think they have done a good job on the UI so far for I have seen. So it's very intuitive, very easy to use. And you have all these sliders here, so very easy to play around with. Kind of like this. Appreciate the dark mode, of course. So I wonder if they're going to add more features. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this. And finally, <laughs> mid-journey of Discord. I think this is going to be a great move for them. Because now they can kind of reach the audience that don't use Discord. It is a bit of a barrier to have to create a Discord account, log in, use all this. So much easier to use and yeah, a great move by Midjourney, I think. So yeah, basically that was what I want to take a look at today. Hopefully all of you that uses Midjourney will get access to this soon. 5000 images, it's something, but yeah, it's not impossible. If you have used this for a while, you probably have access today. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.